Hey, we're down in the lower lab today shooting a video for our friends at WD SanDisk. Now they sent over not one, not two, but four of these lovely SD cards for use in the lab. One of the problems that we run into in making videos and even using our high-end digital photography rig is that sometimes we get let down by our flash cards. And it doesn't happen a lot, but it happened last week and it sort of ticked us off. We were in the middle of recording the podcast with Rick Vanover and about two minutes into the 10 minute interview, Kevin makes a face and then waves us down and says, we've got to stop. Why is that, might you ask? Well, because one of the value bin SD cards kind of got mixed in with our, our decent ones and it failed in the middle of the recording of the podcast. That's no bueno. So to get around that, we went and we talked to WD SanDisk and said, look guys, here's our problem, here's what we need, what can you do to help us out? And this is the end result. A, a new reader and four of these 128 gig cards that are rated up to 170 megabytes per second. Now what we're really concerned about from a video perspective is getting a nice sustained write capabilities from these cards so that as we're pounding away on the little SD card inside the camera, that we don't have a problem of responsiveness or even a, a NAND failure because of a, a low quality bin part. So these are nice cards. These are not the highest or fastest that SanDisk offers. They do have a Dash 2 version of these that's even faster. And these do go all the way up to one terabyte. But this is perfect for what we need. And just to show you what it's capable of, we're gonna go ahead and drop it in a, uh, a dock connect it to the MacBook Air and run a little bit of performance testing just to show you what these things can do. All right, so we've pulled up uh, the current gen MacBook Air connected uh, SanDisk reader with the uh, Extreme card. And here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna fire it up in Blackmagic to get a feel for what it's capable of. Now on the package it says 170 read, that's best case scenario, so we'd expect to get uh, through the application and uh, through the Mac layer somewhere in the 150, 155, maybe 160 uh, range on read and writes uh, probably a little less than 100 but let's take a look and while we're thinking about what goes on with the the workflow our Canon body in best case scenario can shoot at roughly 500 megabits per second uh, so what that translates into rough division by uh, 8, let's see, that's uh, about 62, 63 megabytes per second. So, which is good, because as we're seeing the, uh, the write speeds come in sitting at roughly 95 megabytes per second, uh, that means that we're able to, even if we stress the, the camera body as hard as we can, that we'll be able to drive the... Uh, 62 and a half megabytes per second sustain that it needs. Uh, looking at the right or at the read side, we're you know sitting at 161, and it'll sort of bounce around a little bit there. Uh, in terms of recording video, that doesn't really help us. But where it does help us is when we go uh, drop this into a, a notebook or uh, system for processing the video. We're able to pull it off at at line rate. And if we have some large files, instantly get those off the card onto the system and be uh, working with those files. Most of our video is only shot at 1080p, 60fps, so that requirement is much lower. Again, the card will do fine there. Uh, but knowing that if we want to push harder, we can, uh, that's, uh, that's, that's great to know. So we're very appreciative for the support from SanDisk. Uh, it's great to have friends, and it's even... Uh, better to have friends that send SD cards to solve these operational workflow problems that we have. And we'll be able to continue cranking out videos and thanks in large part to, uh, to SanDisk. So we all have them to thank and uh, appreciate uh, them participating and hope you enjoyed this little video that gives you a sneak peek into uh, the background operations that go on with our videos over here at Storage Review. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.